I always hated Slim Grant. Or he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him. An old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. All right, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like that fella. Okay, let's get you out of here. Yes, indeed, son. Uh, uh. I need a favor, Mr. Grant. It's nothing big. I'll explain on the way. You might as well relax. This is real peculiar. I'm staying for See an old friend of yours. It's a reunion of sorts. Will you stop being so damn cryptic? I'm a state marshal, and this is an abduction. Horseshit, I'm saving you. This is just a little detour on the way to liberty. I will prosecute you for this, you insubordinate bastard. There you go again, Mr. Grant. Ain't doing yourself no favors. What's your name, son? I ain't got no name. And I ain't your son. Sit tight. I'll take you to your friend, and this will all be over. Oh, not for you, it won't be. Whatever you say. <laughs> so you got him. I think so. Did you kill his cousin back in 82? <laughs> Whose cousin? My cousin. I never shot no one, didn't deserve it. Uh, you shot Jed Calloway. And I told you then I'd shoot you too. And I would have. You'd shown up. I was there. No, you weren't. You left town. You take that back. But I don't care now. It's nigh on 20 years ago. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. Come on, fight me. It's a bit late, isn't it? God damn you! Oh! Well, that settles that, then. I shot him back. I shot him in the goddamn back. And these things happen. God damn you, goddamn both of you! Now calm down. Who cares? You should have shot him 20 years ago. He's dead now. You are a sickness scum like you and you, Plato. Come on, draw! Why? I said draw, goddammit! No. Yes! Indeed. Still, at least now you got a, an end into your book. He's dead. Oh, don't you start now. Uh, no, I'm not starting. I'm... I'm happy. I'm free. I can finally go back to writing westerns instead of being in one. Yeah, he was pretty wild. And I know some wild people. He was certainly complicated. I'm sorry I shot him. No. And you didn't shoot him. We wounded Slim Grant. 
fair and square. Yes, that's it. Last of the gunslingers. Well, more or less, I guess. There's more? Oh, well, there's always folk who shoot you in the back and then rewrite history. <laughs> oh, hey, where do I send the money? Send it to Tacitus Kilgore. No, that ain't my real name. Jim? Look, the bank. Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city, there are police, but as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. If we linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. That's what Jose is saying. It's as good a plan as any. I, I think I agree. Can we do it at night? There's the drama of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. No, pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute Properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. We ride out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six banana farmers, Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! <laughs> let's go, let's go! Crack that whip, Mr. Matthews! The last one! Where have we heard that before? What has happened to you, John? You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? As soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina, then another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind? <laughs> Forget that. It's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. The plan. One last Time! Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Got it? Got it. Yep. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. Good luck, gentlemen. Right on! Yeah! Everybody know the drill. We head in hard and stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. Then right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! One more time. Let's ride! Yeah! Yeah! Gentlemen, robbing thieves, it ain't no crime at all. Folk like this, they stole what this country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. I love that Jose! <coughs> He's a true artist. Gentlemen, let's go! Ladies and gentlemen! Seize the 
Senior bank manager here, open up the vault. Get over there and open the vault. Now! Arthur, you're with me. I need to clear this out. for these safes. Tell him the combination. Come on, speak. Speak or die. Now. First number. 19. Got it. Okay, now, what's the second number? 72. Should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton, <clears throat> let my friend go. Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily. Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton. It's over. No more bargains, no more deals. Mr. Milton, this is America. You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chances. Come on!
John. Killed? Arrested. I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. Uh, what you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roof. So if you'll cover us. Sure. Sure. Go on. Don't believe it. They knew we were coming. Just like your ferry job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. <clears throat> well, what now? I don't know. I don't. This whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Well, a few hours? We go back to camp? They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. Or we die out there right now. Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, oh, look at us. Okay, follow me, and keep your heads down. Boats, come on! It just keeps getting better, doesn't it? Quick, get in cover and stay out of sight. We can't stay here. Let's cut through the train. Follow me. Someone's coming. Look out on the left. Stay low. Someone's coming. Duck. Hey! I already... 
already checked the trains. You did? No more than a quarter hour ago. Are you sure? Sure. All right, then. Come on. Stop, Arthur. Oh, damn it. We're never gonna get past these fellas. Arthur, head over to the water. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out? How? I don't know. Make a noise. Whistle or something. Jenkins, is that you? for us maybe maybe not well they ain't just waiting there for no reason yeah let me think for a second i'll deal with them what? how i can't kill all of them silently so when they chase me you go the other way what are you talking about you heard what i said oh i like it real brave what in the hell who is Excuse me, buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! That is one of the most Come beautiful acts I ever saw. Come on. We got some gold, I'm sure. This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. I don't know. John, Lenny, Jose, that wasn't good. I know. So what are we gonna do now? <coughs> Guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain, give him some of this gold to secure his silence, and find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. <sighs> well, it's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella. A New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're gonna be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. 